So we initially got the roaches because I was teaching our neuroscience class and it's really hard to illustrate a lot of the principles of neuroscience because there's not much neuroscience you can see in the classroom. And so there's this amazing company called Backyard Brains. They create really cool neuroscience equipment that you can use on cockroaches. So we can actually hook them up to this equipment and we can see live action potentials in the classroom. And so that's a really nice way to, to illustrate those principles. But then of course I had a roach colony and being the person that teaches our animal classes, I wanted to get uh, more students hands-on experience with animals in the classroom. So now our students are doing um, independent projects with cockroaches and uh, learning more about this uh, species. Doing animal research is the first time that I could actually follow through with my own project, start to finish, design it, um, and it's really cool, awesome to see like the, the whole image come together. Just trying to see if they can choose between one of two different um, like treat types, so like sugar water or food, or just water and plain food. What we do is we run each roach three times so on three different days. Each roach only gets tested um, one time per day, and it's a 10-minute trial. And each 10-minute trial will consist of a combination of either sugar water, treats, or shelter. And so the reason we do three days is because there's three different combinations of those three options. So each roach each day gets a different combination. And then we see what was their average choices. All right, so you see he's eating from the bowl. And that's, all right, so that's a choice of a treat. The reason we're trying to figure out why, like, or make, see if they will choose is so that we can see um, what motivates the cockroaches more. So whenever they, basically, whenever they make a choice, they're saying that this is what they prefer over the other option. Um, and if they continually go to a single choice, like sugar water every time, then we know the sugar water is the best motivator for cockroaches. And knowing that will let us know that with future research with cockroaches, if you want to motivate a cockroach to complete a task, you can use sugar water for the best results. So since we didn't have any conclusive data with our previous motivators, we decided to try Fruit Loops. So we got um, orange and yellow Fruit Loops. We crushed them up to be the same consistency as the roaches' food, regular food diet. And so far, they have shown that Fruit Loops is a preferred motivator between trials and between roaches. One additional thing that we found throughout the trials is that we started, we initially started tra training um, or working with the male cockroaches, but since we were starting to run out of um, cockroaches, we decided to move and start implementing the study with females, and we found that the females are actually a lot more motivated than the males. It's just one of those interesting things that we managed to find while going through this test. Since cockroaches um, are kind of new into a classroom setting is whether or not that would be something we could share with um, other schools and see if maybe it's something they would want to implement and in order for them to want to do that you know we needed to be able to definitively say yes you know you can motivate cockroaches to complete tasks you can let students do this 